We're here at Mud Mill Pond with the Dover Bass Club today. This is their event number two, H2O film. It's going to be recording it. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Here we have Roger Patel at the head of the boat and Ori Ranshaw in the back. Roger was the uh, second runner up there last year, 2009 season for the Dover Bass Club. That was a tight, tight series. Uh, it separated them by five points and uh, Bob Pennington was the one that won the, the uh, Angler of the Year. Um, Ori Ranshaw just hooked up. It's a smaller one, but uh, they're going to check to see if it's going to keep. This will be Ori's first fish for the day here at Mud Mill. No, it didn't keep. The uh, bass, uh, they can keep three for the tournament for weigh-in. Uh, they have to be over 12 inches. Ori Ranshaw just picked up his fish on a June bug color, a brush hog. Uh, Roger Patel's throwing the same thing, June bug color. Uh, Roger's got two in the boat ready for weigh in. Roger Patel just hooked up. Looks like he got a good one on. That one goes in the live well. That'll be Roger's three fish for weigh-in. Now he can start calling. He's checking in on the golden rule. Nah, he didn't keep. It's 11 and 7 eighths. It's close. We're fishing here with Dave Zimmer. He has his three fish. Uh, about three and a half pounds worth. Uh, he's calling now. He's throwing a uh, small four inch blue black tube jig with a eighth ounce head on it. Just slowly finesse fishing, throwing it into the brush. He's only about uh, five to ten feet from the bank, so he's fishing relatively close. Skip. Skipping it underneath the uh, cover. That's what he is just saying. You see how Dave's just skipping that right across the top of the water. That's what's landing him right up underneath that brush. He's saying he got all of his fish right tight to the bank this morning. Weigh ins at 1230. Uh, Dave had his fish by 8 o'clock this morning, so uh, he's doing pretty good. We have the lanes here, father and son team. Uh, Warren, the father's in the back, and his son Jim is driving the boat. 
so far they have two dinks. Uh, Jim caught both this morning. Warren's throwing a black and blue uh, quarter ounce jig and uh, his son is throwing plastics. Let's see if they get any hits here on these lily pads. So far, everyone this morning has been hugging pretty close to the bank. As you can see, he's only about 20 feet from right there where the uh, lily pads are. Brian Rogers heading the boat is throwing a purple Senko. Steve Porter in the back is throwing a black jig about a half ounce. So far they have one fish in the boat. They're trying to get some stuff for the scales. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. BassFishingCommunity.com the number one bass fishing forum in the country. You're gonna get hooked. We have Jay Thorman. He's throwing a, a watermelon creature bait with red flake. He's got two in the live well. He's had two dinks so far. He had to let go. Uh, they were close, but he needs one more fish in order to uh, get his limit for the scales and then he can start calling trying to catch some bigger fish. We have Jeremy Fisher with Dover Bass Club. He's throwing a topwater buzz bait chartreuse. James Hart is throwing a quarter ounce brown jig. He's got one in the boat for weigh-in so far. <laughs> 